Check it, check it. Look at this collection. Look at this dust. That's what you want to see. Whatnot is the sponsor of today's video. Thank you for your support. Hey, hello everybody, Silver Picker here, and today's video is another collection purchase unboxing. Yes, I bought another coin collection, and I'm going to be showing you exactly what I got, how much I paid, and what I stand to make. And look at this, this is exactly the kind of stuff we want to see, right? Dusty old albums, a big old box, and just tons and tons of cool stuff. So, I'm gonna tell you the story, take you along for the ride, and if you like videos like this, I make videos like this all the time about coin collecting, precious metals investing, personal finance, and much more. So you best hit that big old red subscribe button and while you're down there throw me a like hit the bell do all the youtube stuff it helps me out a ton and takes you just a second anyway as i always say enough of the jibber jabber let's check out the coins all right so i'm visiting my dad and a buddy of his from way back in the day who remembered that i buy coin collections called him up and said hey is your son around well i was in town and i went and picked up this collection from him and i'll tell you how much i paid for it in a little bit but first let's take a look at what we got first off We've got over here one of these albums, United States Commemorative Gallery. And you can see it's got a Peace Dollar, a Walking Liberty, a Barbered Quarter, a Liberty V Nickel, and of course a Merc. And it's got all this beautiful display and blah, 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 right? And it says Antique Liberty Collection. And this one is from the United States Commemorative Gallery. Now we've seen lots of companies like this and Essentially, they're scams. They prey on old people who don't really know better. They prey on people who are not sophisticated. And essentially, they sell them real coins. They sell them real coins. These are good enough coins, right? But they're usually in bad condition. These are in awful condition. Some of them have been cleaned. And of course, for all you newbies watching, you never clean a coin no matter what. So they're cleaned, they're not in great shape, but they are good coins. But what do they do? They charge like three or four times the actual value of the coins. And essentially that was the story of this collection. So the person I bought it from, he's a great guy. He's a former uh, New York City uh, police officer and he's a general contractor now. He's got his own business. But his father unfortunately had dementia and before he passed, he started buying up all sorts of stuff from, you know, from the TV and whatnot and all this stuff got bought by his father and unfortunately was probably ripped off. So anyway, now I have the collection and of course most of this I'm gonna be reselling because none of it really fits in my collection, but it is pretty cool, especially for a new collector. And there's nothing wrong with this stuff if you pay the right price. So I, of course, paid a percentage of the actual value as opposed to retail, right? This probably retailed for like a hundred bucks, but you know, it's got a $10 uh, George Washington commemorative half here. This is silver and this is the proof version. And it has a beat to hell 1932 uh, quarter, which is also silver. And it's got a couple of worthless stamps and a nice little thing. But if you're a collector and you have a display, this is kind of cool, or if you have a young numismatist who wants to learn about history and all that kind of stuff, this is great. So there's nothing inherently wrong with this collection. It's just that the original price at retail is way, way overpriced. So I paid him 65% of the value of the collection. Normally I pay closer to 70 or 75%, but in this case, a lot of the stuff is a little bit tough to sell and you'll see why in a minute. But there are some cool things. So here we've got ourselves an uncut sheet of four $1 bills. It's pretty cool. And you know, it's not worth a whole lot. It's worth about 20 bucks. And it has some literature in here and some nonsense. And you know, I'm not even sure if some of this stuff originally belonged to this set, but you know, it's still a cool piece either way. We got a couple more books over here. This one's actually pretty cool. Last Silver and US Coins and Silver Certificates, Postal Commemorative Society. I mean, whatever that is, right? So we've got ourselves the history of US silver coins and silver certificate. I mean, it's a nice little display. You see here, we've got a peace dollar, we've got a Kennedy half, we've got a silver quarter, and we've got a silver dime. But you can also see, these are like not in great shape. Look at this, this thing is like sandblasted basically. So it's a shame because, you know, they're basically ripping off old people, um, old sick people in this case. These are the 40% uh, bicentennials. And this is a pretty nice set, actually. And this whole set is actually really nice. It's just, like I said, and I'm gonna be a broken record on this, the only issue is that the retail was basically a massive, massive ripoff. You know, look at this. This thing is worth $1.50 maybe in this condition. And it probably this portion accounted for, you know, several dollars, maybe 10, 15 bucks worth of the whole set. So, 
Anyway, you can see I'm doing this sort of old school style, right? Where I've got my shaky camera, we're doing it outside, I'm visiting my pops. So, you know, we do what we gotta do. U.S. Historic Currency, Postal Commemorative Society, that's one I've never heard of. Have you guys heard of that? Anyway, $1 silver certificate. We've got a stamp, we've got a silver quarter, another stamp. Let's see what else we got here. We got the U.S. note, Red Seal $2 bill, which is pretty cool. We've got just a random nickel. And we've got the $5 uh, U.S. note, and again, a random penny, 1963. It's not even a proof. See, they really, I mean, they do a great job of displaying, but it's all in the purposes, essentially, of scamming. Or I should say ripping off. I don't know if I would call it a scam. A scam would be selling fake coins. This is more of just a ripoff, your garden variety ripoff. Okay. Now, I'll show you some more stuff. We got the whole box here, so you gotta stay tuned, right? This is stuff that I actually said to him, look, I can only pay face value on some of this stuff because it's really, it's really worthless. I mean, this one over here, look at this. We've got three Jefferson nickels. You can see they are not war nickels. They are literally just nickels in ratty shape. So with this, even though it's a nice little display, I paid him literally 15 cents for this. Also, by the way, I get some comments sometimes of people like really not being charitable to what I say. When I say I pay, you know, 60, 70, 80% of, of market value, I'm referring to the value that you could sell this stuff for, not face value. There's several people who have commented where I say, yeah, I paid 75% of market value who think that for a $10 bill, I'm giving $7.50, which is ridiculous. Of course, I'm not doing that. I'm giving of the market value. So for example, if this quarter is worth five bucks, I'm giving, you know, 75, 65, whatever the percentage that I and the bot, the seller agree on of that, not a 75% of the quarter. This of course had a war nickel. So this one I paid uh, for the war nickel, which you see there, 1943 P. But all of this stuff, I mean, it's literally, I mean, it's just a, a dollar coin and it's taped onto a nice little thing, but it's, it's really nothing special. So they're great for young numismatists. There's really nothing wrong with it. It's just, again, about what people pay. So I've got a whole mess of this stuff. We don't have to go through all of them. But the ones, of course, that have silver, I, I paid, you know, the, the fair price. Like this one, I, uh, I said it was 12 bucks, and I paid 65% of that. So not bad at all. Okay, another s couple of things that, uh, unfortunately, is... Uh, you know, another ripoff. Look at this. Super fancy, nice box. Look at that. Beautiful box. Beautiful display. And let's take a look at what's in it. Look at that. United States Commemorative Gallery. And it's got a couple of presidential dollars. Some of them are missing. I paid him uh, face value for this stuff just because it's going to be really hard to move. And honestly, I might even get more for the box now that I'm thinking about it. I didn't even consider that, but... I mean, really, really ridiculous. This I've had before. Actually, my uncle gave me one of these. It's a 1966 uh, Kennedy half that's 40% silver. Uh, the rest are just clad, ordinary coins. What else we have in here? This, again, nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Beautiful box. Gold-plated quarters. That's it. Gold-plated state quarters. But we've got some good stuff in here. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. And by the way, some of this stuff, again, if you buy it at the right price, there ain't nothing wrong with it. Vault verification nonsense. It's pretty set. Lincoln Indian head, excuse me, Indian head sense. It's pretty set. Indian head sense. You got yourself here uh, 10 Indian head cents. It's in a beautiful display case. But again, <laughs> it's worth like 10 bucks. So, you know, it's a little bit of a shame. They really do all the the scheming and scamming with the packaging, and, and that's really it. This one, and there's four of these, is one that really, really made me feel bad. The guy who I bought it from told me that his father paid over $1,000, he thinks, for each of these, and it says 425 net grams. First of all, who cares about grams when you're talking about base metals, right? This is meant to look like it's actual, like, golden here, but look what it actually is. It's a tube, an impressive, nice, cool tube, but it's a tube of John Adams' tube of presidential dollars. Yes, they're all mint. They're all great. I mean, these do go for about $75 a piece, but if the guy originally paid 1000 I mean, that's highway robbery. Absolutely highway robbery. 
So anyway, by the way, I should point out that I am going to be selling all of this stuff at my next Whatnot auction. If you don't know what Whatnot is, well, you've been sleeping because Whatnot is an incredible live video auction platform in which bidders and sellers come together in real time to buy and sell all sorts of collectibles. Obviously, I'm into the coins and precious metals and stuff like that, but they've got everything you could want. They've got trading cards, sports cards, comic books, video games, even sneakers. They've got anything that you could possibly want to collect. And on top of that, if you use my link to download the app, that's Whatnot.com com slash invite slash silver picker not only do you get access to this incredible platform absolutely for free but you also get ten dollars in whatnot credit to use on anything you want right hold up hold up hold up hold up editor's note well it used to be ten dollars in credit but after i had a little conversation with the folks at whatnot well they raised it to fifteen dollars for a limited time yes not ten bucks now if you use my link whatnot.com slash invite slash silver picker to sign up for whatnot and download the app you get fifteen dollars in whatnot credit instead of ten i don't know how long that's gonna last so you definitely want to hop on that whatnot.com slash invite slash silver picker don't sleep on this deal so back to the coins i've got another one another two another three of these so like i said i've got four of these i haven't even checked if they're all the same present in fact i haven't even checked if they're all in there um but oh this one's opened a little bit so that's uh, a little bit of a that one's opened a little bit it's a little bit of a negative i guess i overpaid on this one since it's not uh fully sealed anymore but these i paid um these i actually paid quite a bit for, quite a bit on i mean they're worth 75 bucks a piece this uh these sets um but again it, it breaks my heart to know that that somebody shelled out like a thousand bucks for these however i will say that the guy that i bought this stuff from he told me that while he knew that his dad was getting ripped off he said it brought a smile to his face every time he looked at this stuff and honestly if you've got the money and you're not hurting for it why not right like a guy is sick he's old at the end of his life he wants to enjoy himself buying this stuff let him have at it right so we've got a roll of wheat cents, out of circulation Lincoln wheat coins. I mean, nothing valuable in there. Got a couple of these guys. This is a Birth of Our Nation uh, round. It's cupro nickel, so it's collectible, but it's not silver. This guy is silver, though. We've got ourselves a Jimmy Carter presidential coin. This is a silver uh, 999 fine silver round. That's like 20 bucks. Not bad. So there's some good stuff in here. We also have a couple of Morgan dollars. This one's in 1893, no mint mark, 1893. This one's actually in pretty good shape, not cleaned for once, which is surprising. We've got one of these. I almost missed this. I didn't even, I thought this was just like a junk token until I realized that it's an actual colorized uh, Morgan. Hideous, in my opinion, 1921, absolutely hideous, but it is indeed a Morgan, so it's good for silver stackers. What else have we got? Oh, another hideous colorized coin, although this one's a little bit better. This one is an American Silver Eagle, and it is memory of the World Trade Center. You know, it's hard for me to, like, make fun of this coin, right? It's, it's I mean, it's a, a commemorative honoring the world, you know, honoring the memory of the World Trade Center, and it says, God bless America. But the reality is, is it still, you know, destroyed this, uh, this um, American Silver Eagle. And frankly, I don't think they did such a great job on, on the design here. But, you know, what am I going to do? I'm not going to criticize a uh, memorial to the World Trade Center. Got ourselves a random 1919 Merc. And in this baggie over here, what do we have? I think we got another Morgan. Yep, we got ourselves another Morgan. This time in 1879, I think also uh, 1879 D. Uh, that one I think is clean. What else we got? What else we got? Bag of presidential dollars. I paid face value on those. A uh, bunch more of this stuff. So again, we've got ourselves a beat to hell 1921 cleaned Morgan silver dollar with a couple of stamps. Uh, I'm sure this thing retailed for an absurd amount. Uh, I valued these at 32 bucks a piece and paid out uh, again the same percentage. Another one of those, that's a peace dollar. Another peace dollar, with some stamps. And this one is a holographic uh, Washington State State Quarter. It's actually pretty uh, cool, it's pretty beautiful. It just happens to be uh, worthless. 
there was a little bit of currency, old currency. There's nothing really interesting in here. It was just uh, $1 silver certificates and two older 20s from the 1950s. So, you know, it is what it is. A bunch of literature, you know, certificates of authenticity, which, of course, you know my feeling on that. Uh, if you have to give a certificate of authenticity, anybody can print one of those out. Uh, so you never rely on the certificate of authenticity. Oh, what is this? I don't even remember this guy. Ah, okay, yes, yes, okay. This is obsolete coins of America's past. We have an Indian head cent. We've got a barber dime, Liberty head nickel. That's a V nickel, Liberty head quarter, and, li and barber half dollar. It's funny that they call this a barber half and this a Liberty head half and this a barber dime. They're literally from the same series, but in any case, um, it's also interesting they call it obsolete because these are not obsolete. Obsolete coinage would be like a three cent silver or a two cent coin or a half penny. These are just old versions of modern coins. So pretty strange, but it is actually a nice little display. And again, if you've got a nine-year-old at home that's into coins, this is a great thing, right? It's a beautiful display um, and it's fantastic. It's just Again, I'm a broken record here. I'm really sorry I'm a broken record like this, but it's just about paying the wrong price. So I've got a couple more of these boxes. Uh, again, these are really nothing special. They've got like a couple of presidential dollars in here. I paid him face value for those. I know I can sell them for a little bit more than face. I told him that, but I said, look, it's, you know, he said he's not gonna, he's not, he does, he's not interested in uh, keeping any of this stuff. He just wants it out of his house. And I told him I'm not really willing to pay, you know, more than uh, face value for this stuff. So I said for, he should give it to his grandkids instead. But he said they're not interested in it. And what does he want for $3? He said just pay him face value and it gets it out of there. So we got a couple more stuff. Maybe there's some more presidential dollars in here. Yep. Just throwing presidential dollars all over the place. And another one of those presidential dollars boxes. So check it. You can see I've made an entire absurd mess, but I'm, I'm filming on the fly here. I'm filming on the fly. This is an old school style video. I'm at my dad's place and I'm enjoying myself. And frankly, you know, sometimes you want to have a little throwback. But anyway, what did I pay for all this? So the collection came out to be worth, I don't remember the exact numbers, but it was worth about $850. And I paid something a little over $500 for it. I think I paid like uh, eight. I think I paid like 560 for it, something like that, 560, and it's worth about 800 and change. So I think it came out to about 65% of the value. Again, normally I'll pay a little bit higher if it's stuff that's easier to sell, but again, like this kind of stuff, I have no idea what the demand on this is gonna be. Um, but anyway, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Again, if you're interested in any of this stuff, I'm gonna be selling it at my next WhatNot auction check out the link in the description, whatnot.com slash invite slash silver picker. And I've got a lot more stuff like this. I'm doing more collection buying than I've ever done before. So you best hit that big old red subscribe button and come back for more. I really had a great time with this video. I cannot wait to see you again. I got a lot more some stuff coming down the pike. So stay tuned. And until then, silver picker out. A huge, huge thank you to all of my wonderful patrons. If you're not yet a patron, join the Patreon. The links are below and you'll get access to my private Discord group in which all sorts of collectors come together to talk shop, talk coins, and just have a good time.